Welcome to Early Childhood Chapel with Mrs. Leipel. Good morning, everybody. And I am still in my pajamas when I'm making this video because here's what I wanted you to see for our opening song. Time for our second song. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Okay, now listen. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, whisper hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, sing hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three, if you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! Hi, everybody. I hope you liked that new first song. It was such a beautiful morning when I did that recording, and I had all those pretty flowers, and I thought that was the perfect song to use. So how about if we do our blessing? Are you ready? Dear God... Thank you for the blessing of this day. Thank you for the blessing of these friends. Help us to grow braver, kinder, and wiser today. Amen. And I hope over the last month or so that you've been happy and healthy and that you have enjoyed your special time with your families. But I want you to know I miss you a ton. Uh, so what we're going to do today is uh, I'm going to review quickly the big ideas that we've had. The first chapel session, we talked about three important rules for life. And they were be brave, be kind, and be you. And when you say be you, you also mean for yourself, be me. Be true to who you are. Um, and then we talked about everybody has a job to do. The people in charge of you have two super important jobs. Well, the first one is to keep you safe. And because our jobs are to keep you safe, that's the reason everyone is home right now, to keep us safe. Uh, the second important job is to help you learn help you learn. So adults are helping you to be safe and to help you learn. And your job was to follow directions. Another way of saying that is obey. And we talked about it's really important right away when you're told just once. So it's a perfect time to practice that since you're home with either your parents or maybe grandparents or somebody's babysitting for you, when they give you a direction, try to do it right away, just once. 
So now I would like to uh, maybe see if Molly would come out to tell you the big lesson for today. Remember, don't say she's a puppet. Molly, are you going to come out? Wait a minute. Where am I? My laundry room. Where are all those kids? Well, they're out there listening. Where? I don't... So Wait a minute. I do see them. Hi, you guys. How are you? I've been missing you. Okay. I have a job to do. And it is to tell you the big lesson. Here it is. Where your eyes go, your brain will follow. Got that? Where your eyes go, your brain will follow. Right, Mrs. Lipo? That's right. Bye. See you guys the next time. Bye. Okay. So, maybe not as loud as usual, but here's what Molly's wanting to uh, or wanting to teach us or remember for today's the big lesson. It is called paying attention when you are listening and obeying right away just once. You have to pay attention. Sometimes we don't know what does that mean to pay attention. Your eyes are super important. So the big lesson today is where my eyes go, my brain will follow. So try that with me. Where my eyes go, my brain will follow. Have your parents ever said to you, look at my eyes and listen to me before they give you directions? It's because your parents already know this. Where your eyes go, you will be paying attention. Your brain will follow. So it's super important to look at the person that is giving you directions. So I want you to work on that in the next month or so. When somebody's asking you to do something, be sure you stop what you are doing and look at them with your eyes. Because where your eyes go, what will happen? Your brain will follow. Good job. And now we're going to hear a story. This story is called Look Out, Patrick. It is written and illustrated by Paul Garrity. While you listen to this story, I want you to keep an eye on Patrick the mouse. Is he using his eyes to pay attention? One breezy afternoon, Patrick was strolling home. It was a lovely day. The birds were singing and there was a spring in his step. The world is such a pleasant place, he said. Oh no, Patrick, look out! He gazed about in wonder. The countryside was full of delightful surprises. The smell of new grass, the fresh green leaves, and ripe red berries just ready to eat. Oh no, Patrick, look out! He bent down to sniff at a buttercup. Bumblebees were buzzing back and forth busily. The air was sweet with the scent of nectar. Oh no, Patrick, look out! A butterfly tickled his whiskers, and in the background, water gurgled. Patrick's tummy began gurgling, too. I wonder what's cooking in the kitchen, he thought. Oh no, Patrick, look out! He tiptoed carefully, that nasty cat might be on the prowl. There was no sign of the cat, but there was a nice big chunk of cheese. Mmm, said Patrick, my favorite snack. 
Oh no, Patrick, look out! Just then a delicious smell drifted by. Even better, said Patrick. I wonder what it is. Oh no, Patrick, look out! He followed his nose as it twitched and whiffed and pointed and sniffed, but suddenly, oh no, Patrick, look out. Oh no, Patrick, look out. Oh no. That was a close one. Must be my lucky day. Wow. I am glad Patrick was okay at the end of that story, aren't you? Did you notice how many dangerous situations he was in and he didn't even know it? Because he was not paying any attention to the world around him. He was not using his eyes to look for danger. He was looking at everything else like the cheese and the flowers. Um, so I think that's a great story to use when we talk about where my eyes, sorry, where my eyes go, my brain will follow. So perhaps Patrick wouldn't have been in so much danger if he would have been using his eyes. So that's what I want you to learn today, okay? All right, hey, A, B, C, see you later. D, E, F, G, I'm going to miss you. H, I have to go now. J, K, bye-bye now. L, M, N, O, I had a good time. P, Q, are you going to miss me? S, T, you are my best friends. V, W, X, Y, because I love you. Z, see you next time. May the Lord bless you and keep you until we meet again.